Welcome to an episode of the Old Man Whiteboard Series featuring the legendary Mike McKenna. First, our sponsors. Our first sponsor is Launchpad Kickoff Tee. The Launchpad Kickoff Tee. Listen up. This tee will win ball games for you. Find out what you are missing from your kickoff game. Take control and execute with the Launchpad Kickoff Tee. Now legal for high school nationwide. Win more games with the Launchpad. Check out the link on the page here below or go to launchpadkickofftee.com and juice up your special teams. Our second sponsor is Coach Stone's Football Drill Manual Series. 2021 is the year to go hashtag back to the basics with Coach Stone's Football Drill Manual Series. It is a combined 300 plus football drills and over 4,000 pages of football intelligence or FBI. All the content within the Football Drill Manual Series builds on each other to offer consistent coaching while laying a foundation. Let's face it, 2020 was not easy for any of us to navigate sports, whether or not you were fortunate enough to have a season, or if your season was put on hold until this year, now's the time to go back to the basics to lay a foundation in 2021. New in 2021, on May 1st, Coach Stone released the second issue of his free digital quarterly magazine, CSF Coaching Magazine. Later this year, he is releasing his new coaching course, CSF Coaching Framework, which provides a consistent foundation to coaching. For more information, go to CoachStoneFootball.com, his YouTube channel, Coach Stone Football, Back to the Basics, or his Twitter at Coach underscore Stone underscore MT. Information from both our sponsors can be seen below in the bio. Please check out them and our affiliates below. You can also check out our Patreon if you are interested in supporting our channel, um, whether you're supporting us through the Patreon or through purchasing through our affiliates, it is greatly appreciated. And here is an episode of The Old Man's Whiteboard featuring the legendary Mike McKenna. Uh, another compliment that we had to this is our shovel pass. Uh, you can run in different motions, different combinations in either direction. Uh, but what we did was we would motion a guy into that split back area, one side or the other. Um, but the quarterback is, is instead of attacking the end on it, he actually went flat. Okay. And then what he did was, is he was actually going to, his pitch phase is going to be off that number two outside the dive. So our dive phase in this, the shovel pass phase, um, we're going to combination block with the tackle and the guard to the weak side linebacker. It's just a power uh, combination block in here. We're going to block back against the 4 2 5, pull the guard. He'll skip pull, and he's looking for the Sam backer. Um, we'll get the backside sealed, so we'll, we'll get this wall going right here. Uh, the tackle's going to step and hinge to protect the backside B gap. Um, we'll get a rotation out of four two five, but we're going to block man on the corner, and then our number two is going to go past our our pitch phase guy, and he's actually going to block this. Uh, the free safety there. Um, but as the quarterback goes flat, if the, if the end comes up field, he's going to shovel pass it up forward through the back, coming across underneath. And he's, once he goes down, he's going he's gonna to kind of three-quarter speed that uh, so he's not too, far, too fast enough in the line of scrimmage. He wants to make sure that as he's going, he's actually going to look at that guy too. So he'll know if he's going to receive the ball or not. Um, if the guy does sit and squeeze because of the down block and he's going he's gonna to end up taking that guy, he's now going to read this guy and see where he's going. Because um, he'll, he'll start to attack once he gets out toward number two. And he'll pitch the tailback who's in, in pitch phase the whole way out. Um, and that's how we run the shovel pass. Um, we will run it... Um, This way. We will go ahead and bring him back like this. And then he will go back like that in a, in a turn motion. And now he will be that, that guy. If that makes sense. So that was another option we did. We bring him back into that, that deep motion. And then running back into the pitch phase area. 
and the quarterback would do the same thing. He would just sprint out, and he's looking for that window, and then our tailback would be that guy that's going to run the shovel pass, and then, of course, he'll option number two out there that this guy squeezes, but the blocking scheme stays the same. It's just another way to, to, to run it. our shovel pass. Works great inside the 10 yard line. One of our play actions that we like to do is our boot pass off of this. And we will we'll motion the guy okay, to that split back spot, or we will go ahead and line him up and split back. Um, either one works. Uh, but I'll show you from the motion. He's going to move. He's going to motion to that that guy there. Um, in our in our in our boot, um, quarterback's actually going to the motion guy is going to be our first fake. Okay, he's going to fake this way. Show fake the ball, point it out there. He's actually going to take a counter step and come across like he's faking the GT or the counter tray. Um, but his job is is once he makes his fake. He's now going to run that five-yard flat route. We're going to cross route this, um, what we call CP. Anyway, we're going to CP this. But we're going to run a post and then a, and then a corner route. Um, this guy's going to come across at, on his uh, drag route, and he's aiming for 15 yards on the other hash mark. That's his aiming point. Um, this guy should be at least 25 yards deep on his corner route. But after, after the double fake on the quarterback, he's now going to roll out. And in our scheme, he read deep to short. So he's always going to read the corner to the drag route to the flat route. So you get a nice triangle read. Um, we do screen off of this. Uh, we'll half roll on this, and we'll actually take this guy and link him out the backside and screen here. Uh, but this is how we run our boot. We either do it from a split back or we motion to it. And that is our boot. But on our line scheme, um, we will always we always pull our strong side guard to seal the defensive end, and everybody's running uh, their pass blocking schemes. They're going to zone it, and that's how we run our boot.